Well, hello, you beauts. We've come to a bridge, the only bridge that's on this stretch of where I'm doing the demolished mill. So the demolished mill would have been right behind me. And as you can see, it's got its original wall at the back. And you can see the nice fine work that's still intact. So we're gonna be doing this little spot as you've just seen there. Um, probably gonna get the 550 out straight away. I'm not sure if it's rocky here due to the overflow not sure so i'm going to get the 550 clamp out just to uh, throw it around a bit see what we can get see if we can get some more historic items or just pull rubbish out either way it's coming home ready for the cleanup and ready for the scrap right it doesn't look like anyone's been here there's no metal remnants so anyway someone might have been here already you never know there just might be a clean person right let's get out there let's have a go under bridge first and it got caught on it like that as I'm just talking about it but we've got something already got like a pin yeah okay Then we have that bit, and then we have that bit. Mm. That's part of a bike, the brake pad, Pro Max. Means now to me that. Alright, what have we got here? Oh, we have a knife. There's someone behind me, hang on a minute. There we go. First blade of the day. Genware. I don't know what that is. Keyring. Bit of a weed pipe. Smeg. Should we get the G90 in? Yeah, let's get G90, let him have a play. Mm, we got Smeg from last time we was out. I never clean it. Every time you do clean it. Dust goes from one side to the other, to the other, to the other. Right, let's get out there in the middle. Knackered bit of bar. An old trusty chav can. Right, the lock to my right hand side is where I did the two videos. So you can check them out in the links above if they come on if not they're on my um, 
videos on my channel. Okay, we have something that clips into something. Part of a part of a Swiss Army knife sort of thing. We'll have a look at that, and we'll get rid of Stella. She's back. With a vengeance. Mm, we've got some sort of spike here. A bit of a bag on it. Oh, yeah, some sort of spike. Must be a pipe or something. Ooh. That's what's just come off. What is this? It's a fishing reel. Cool. And we've got the second money of the day. And what is that? That's like a whistle, doesn't it? Probably the top of a windlass. Or a gate. Don't know, I should have a look. Sneaky 5p. Spam. No thanks, not today, Pedro. I got a clue what that is. Just a scaff bar. There we go. Alright, we've got a tin lid. Smeg. Spoon. Another scaff bar in the bin that goes straight away. There we go. Now we have a piece that's used for scaffolding. I don't know what that is, but it's triangular. Smeg. I don't know what that is. Metal bar. It's in the middle of my smeg. I'll have a look.
There we go. Nice spanner. Got here. That's a chaff can that can go in the bin. Bit of wire that can go in the bin. Smag. It's a bit of a metal pipe, but we'll have a look at that. Hey, a little doody. Woo! Woo! Another little doody. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Smeg. We are just talking to a gent. So we've got a fishing lure. That looks like one big washer or weight. That looks cool. And all that. The smeg. Oh, and they see you. That might be a fishing weight. Are they called ledgers? Yeah. I'll have a look. Alright, what have we got on this one? That could be a file. That's definitely handlebar to a bike. That can go straight in. Snag. Why that? However that is. There we are. Have a look at that. And bolt. Another bolt. Cheeky little spinner. Alright. I don't know what that is. We have seen them before, but I'll show you again. Another bolt. Alright, we got scabby lighter, metal pole. A little part of a jiggy jig. Oh, a metal pole. That's a chain in there. Oh, 
Ah, uh, what we got here. Whatever that is. <coughs> Bolt. Right, I'm going to go opposite side to these trees now and do along there. Yeah, we'll make an opening here. There we go. What we got? Getting towards the bolts now. Whatever that is. Two bolts. Three. Four. Shaft can go in the bin. And smeg. Look at all that. Fresh pastures this. Fresh tree territory. Alright, what we got? Possibly a file. Another one of them hockey things. One. Two. That's a square nail. I don't know what that is. I think it's a square washer. We've got a bag of something here. I'll have a look in a sec. Let's get rid of all this. Check the bag out. A bag of hooks. Oh, I don't know what that is. Do we dare swish them? Yeah, let's do it. Let's put the bag in there. I think they're a bag of hooks, but I don't know, I'm going to swish them. Let's get them in here. I still don't know what they are. So we'll just bag them. Bag them up again. There's that bag. I'll just put them, no, I'll just throw them in there. We'll know. Yeah, we'll throw them in there. Mystery bag, still a mystery. There we go, that's what we're after. Not oh, this pin. Look at that file. There we go. Owd stuff from the factory. Front mill. Got a little doody, woo! Bit of cast. 
this fence pin. I'm gonna go right in there. What have we got here? Hey! You got somebody's magnet. There we go. Someone's magnet. Put that baby there. Uh, I don't know what this is. That is just rubbish. Someone's been down here trying to treat themselves. Look at all that. Look at all that. Two P right there. Don't know what that is. Let's go in it, Ben. Meg's going in, Ben. Two P's going in the bucket. What is that? You all right? Oh. Hello? I said what we found. Oh, loads of metal. Any magnet picks up anything metallic. Yeah. Right, what have we got here? Just talking to a lovely lady there. I've not got a clue what that is. That could be just a pipe or a file, but I'm intrigued about this. Yeah. Little handle of something. And I'm intrigued about this. Let's put that down a sec. Because that It's got a marble in it. I know it shouldn't have a marble, but what is it? It's got a marble in it. Meg section here. I don't know. Might be nosy at that, won't we? It is. A lovely bit of chain. Scabby lighter. No. Yeah, right. There we go. Last chuck, reveal yourself. Wow. Oh. There you go. Cool. Right, that's us ladies and gents. The last chuck revealed itself. Whew. Time to get home. Right, you beauties. So, if you like what you see with the magnets, accessories, all you need to do is head over to www.magnetstore.co.uk Click on the fishing magnets and you've got a vast amount of magnets to choose from professional kits or accessories so pick which one you like add to cart go to the checkout enter my code patriot10 click apply coupon 
and then what you'll see your buttes is you'll have a 10% discount knocked off your order what an absolutely cracking morning that we've had and um, all this is new territory to us looks like as we got to like the second bit where this stuff come out it hadn't been done before but technically it had because somebody had lost their magnet hadn't they we'll get to that in a minute I think I need a bigger white surface yeah there's that much to get through today we'll just do our best won't we right should we start let's start at the front we'll start with the fishing stuff um, when I cleaned a huge mess part up it, I think this is a bait cage for fishing I don't know if anyone can help me I'm sure me and Mark have found them before I'm sure we have and then you've got to have the little doodies haven't you woo shimon it's an absolutely lovely day today so we have got a nice shadow from the sun there we go there's our little doodies Look at that, wee! And then we've got this uh, treble hook, nice little spinner. It's got this bit at the end, quite intact that. So it looks like a freshie that one. I know people do fish along that stretch because I have seen them as I've been walking over the years. Um, and these part of fishing apparatus and bait. Oh, there's another one there. So you never know what you're going to pull up, but you definitely will pull something up. Right, going on to the fishing side of things. Still, this come up, made in China, and it is a. Let me get this. An Ace 300. I don't know if that's a good make. I don't know if that's. I can give that to someone. I might keep that in me in me um, tub and other stuff as well, just in case I see some fishermen. So, but I didn't see any that day. Also, would have given them. Um, right, let's go over here. This that got pulled up is part of a clamp scaffolding. Normally, it's got some identification there, but it looks like that's been down there for a hot minute and don't have anything uh, this is part of a, a brake caliper I think they're called there's the pad and the make of this is Pro Max so I'm not sure if that's mountain bike related or BMX yeah let's go for this bit here we found this early doors um, has a little twisty part there and it has got a lock on it so whether that's part of a suitcase a belt a bag I don't know but it's got a lock on it well a secure feature anyway uh, let's do the money how much money did we make this morning two four six and 10p there into five so 16 17 pence free money always love a free money day all right, right we've got little tiny bits here so i'll show you these individually look at this this looks like it was something looks like it's probably got a hole in there so whether it's like a little hinge part don't know this is the ring for off a key ring um, I ain't got a clue what this is but it's got like a little bit there so whether that was like a little bottle opener I don't know it looks like it joined on or something so whether that was a little Swiss army knife I don't know um, this is a, a little key not sure if it's like a little radiator key but I always clean your little bits up 
don't know what that is. No. And then you got this little teeny tiny thing. I thought it was off a lighter at first, but I don't know what it is. I haven't got a clue. Never have a clue. Spoon. We have got a clue about that one. Um, right, these little bits here. I'll show you these and I'll try and show you one, an individual one. If not, I'll put a picture of a close up because I have. I did advertise this on my group to ask people if they recognised anything. And I'll put a few comments up here. And um, they are vintage um, curtain hooks. So there you go, a bit of vintage for you. Um, these items are in the bag that we pulled up that we didn't know. Uh, what can we do next? Do this side here. Uh, we always find these objects. Uh, this looks like it's some sort of tag or maybe um, what they use in what mechanics use to check the uh, the depth or the you get what I mean I forgot the name of it I think that's off a it's either off a, a knife handle or a, like the Swiss Army ones um, I thought this was either a blade or part of a file it isn't it's just a piece of metal same as this one as well it's like a bit of an oyster shape but that's just a piece of metal there. Uh, right, look. I've got a lot to get through because I found a lot. This is what you do when you go to new spots, you just come up with everything. Um, this pointy thing here did have possibly had one of them on. It is the same like width and shape. And you have these little hooky things here. I I think there's something to do with um, suspension and tension. You know, obviously you screw it in and then it's attached to something and it, it gives tension or it tightens, I don't know. That's just my thought. I um, believe these two to be off some sort of bike or scooter. Ashisha weed pipe. We have the blade. Little kitchen one it does have. Genware stainless steel on that. And what else have we got? This spanner here. Can't get any markings off that. If it did have any originally, it should have because the old ones always do. But that's too far gone that one. Two pieces of chain, different lengths, different thicknesses. That were just a mass, and so were that. So we've uh, cleaned it up as best we could. This were like the donut thing that we found. Irregular shape there. So it has, looks like it's been purposely made or drilled that. Because normally it's quite circular. Or it was just like a little, I don't know, pretend piece. Don't know. But, you know, all these will be from the factory. Everything that we see here. I ain't got a clue what that is. Or what it belongs to, or what it is. Nope. I'm just going to zoom in on this next one as well because I'm not, we're not going to pick all these up. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 the same bolts. The good old Usain's. These ones are different. This one. I think it's the very first thing we found. It looks like a bit of a pin that, that you whack in. Whack in pin. Colin's having a little meow behind me, and then you've got this one here. That looks more like a nail, that doesn't it? 
and then you got this bolt here. Accompanied by different washers and nuts. Let's zoom out now. So you got this little teeny tiny nut. This little bolt bit and this one here with a G of a triangle and then 8.8 .8. I think that's the strength 8.8 .8. um, these two nuts and then like a square washer uh, so we've done them ones we'll get to all this bit in a minute because this is what I like this is intriguing for me because of the, the shape of it now it's solid that end but it's only got that there so whether it would fit in that as well but it, look at the look at the shape it does have a handle feel if you know what I mean this bit's raised as well so it's like I don't know I don't know what that is whether it be a crank handle I don't know but yeah very irregular shape Speaking of irregular shapes, um, this could be off a for a gate, you know, the handle. Because I thought it was some sort of like the end of a windlass, but they're normally um, diamond shape, hexagon shape, and uh, not hexagon shape, uh, diamond shape. Yeah, well, that's probably just off a gate. Now this is interesting. Looks like that um, bit on Goon has done it where the they're looking for the alignment for one eyed Willis treasure. Anyway, this here, if you look at it closely, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in this light, it has got little dints in there and there. So I think there's something under there, so I think that needs soaking. Just with the irregular shape as well, like it, it, it could be, I don't know, it could have holes in it. Could be the key to one eyed Willis. Um, right, <clears throat> this is one of my favourite finds just because it's a, a weird shape. I did think it was like a bucket handle at first, but look at the shape. It's been pronounced that way, hasn't it, for a reason. Like it should be on something, the side or something. And you've got the, obviously, the, the end bits here. Which it, it's for a purpose, that look. So does anyone know what that'll carry, fit on, um, hook onto? Love that. See, it, it's like concaved as well. You might not be able, oh, be able to see it that way, won't you? Oh, it's concaved as well. Love it. Don't know what it is, but I love it. Right. This selection up here is files. So going from the top, these are all what they use for machinery, for, um, for sheet metal work and that. People use them for, for metal work definitely, um, just because of the robustness and the size. I have got some in the workshop. There's another file. And then I've got a complete one here. But no markings on it. Not that I can see. But this is what we should be finding in that area due to the metalwork and the switch gear elements that they used to make. They used to make stuff for the Navy, switch gear items for the Navy, and they've done um, switch gear items for very popular Navy boats as well. And word on the street is that they made parts for the Titanic. Don't know how true that is, but anyway, that's the word on the street. Right, one of this unique ones here is this. So this come up with like the ma the marble in the top, but it was just full of rubbish. So I ain't got a clue what that is. No, but it does have a marking of stamp B and D point 
B R S. I ain't got a clue. And then you've got the marble. So please, if you can identify that one for me. Right, last but not least, are these shears. Garden shears. And these two items here. So there's the shears. And they work slightly, but they'll probably just end up in scrap then. Right, so this is where you're going, camera. This is somebody's magnet, and um, it is quite strong actually. Very loose, but there's nothing. Yeah, it's weird that one. Anyway, yeah, somebody's magnet, and this item here, which is like a little egg shape, and that was on the top of top of my magnet. Now, I'm not going to use this as a demonstration. I want to show you something. actually this is actually a magnet Look. as well so two little magnets I mean if we put them over we see if we can pick that up should be able to anyway, that's how strong that magnet is and let's see how strong this magnet is All five of the files picked up. Bit of smeg over there in the corner. And the other bits have been put to one side for scrap collection. So there you go ladies and gents. Cracking bit. We haven't given up on that bit. I think we're going to recomb that surface where we found these items just to go over again and again and again. Because we are just getting the surface stuff off and a, a bit deeper but the more stuff we can get off the better right so the next journey will probably either be to my left because that's what we're working down now so well uh, see you soon take care and see you on the journey
If you keep this up, then I'll 